Hello, my name is March Seabrook and I'm a gastroenterologist in South Carolina. And I want to let you know that we're on a roll to wipe out colorectal cancer in our state. About 12 years ago, we started the South Carolina Gastroenterology Association, and there's only about 150 gastroenterologists in the entire state. And one of the purposes of this organization was to develop a sophisticated statewide colorectal cancer screening program. Now, it doesn't happen overnight, uh, but over the past few years, uh, we have had interesting and, and productive collaborations, especially with the University of South Carolina Center for Colorectal Cancer Research. And over the past six or seven years, uh, we have, uh, between the two organizations teaming up with others, including uh, our largest insurer, Blue Cross Blue Shield, have developed a rather sophisticated program in our state. Gastroenterologists are clearly the experts at colorectal cancer screening and prevention. And we have a lot of dedicated and passionate gastroenterologists in our state. Many of them are donating their time at no cost to the patient for doing these screenings. We actually received grants from the state legislature uh, several years ago, but I was really not interested in developing state money or public money for this endeavor of, of screening for colorectal cancer. That's a little bit where Blue Cross Blue Shield came in, where they gave us a grant uh, for several counties to screen some of their uninsured or underinsured residents. And it's through that initial grant that that has now turned into a more substantial grant and we've spread it uh, through many counties in the state. There are several institutions and organizations that are involved with this project. Those include the University of South Carolina Center for Colon Cancer Research, uh, the Gibbs Center in Spartanburg, and also MUSC in the Hollins Cancer Center. We've had generous pathologists who are, doing, uh, who are looking at these uh, specimens at no cost and also Braintree Laboratories who are donating the preparation for the, for the screening procedures. I think a unique part of this initiative also is the quality review. We only deal with board certified gastroenterologists and actually these gastroenterologists had to submit 25 colonoscopy reports uh, and pathology reports to a quality review team. Not only that, all of the procedures uh, and their notes are reviewed uh, for the highest quality. And I think that this is really what's going to offer uh, the citizens of our state uh, a real higher level of care. Colorectal cancer is still the number two cause of cancer death in South Carolina and the United States. This year there are going to be about 2,000 South Carolinians who are going to find out that they have colorectal cancer. Maybe 800 or so are going to die of it. This program's not going to fix this this year or next year, uh, but over time we're going to try to figure out which part of the population we need to target, which one's more at risk. Uh, I think we're going to learn from this. We know that colonoscopy works, and I think that through this initiative, uh, we're going to make South Carolina a leader. Uh, in fact, one of my goals before I quit practicing medicine is that I see uh, in our state that colorectal cancer is no longer the second leading cause of cancer death, but maybe the third or even fourth.